Honey, I'm Carolyn King. I'm a member of the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation. And for this project, I am the creator founder of the Moccasin Identifier. We have been doing this program to create awareness and education about treaty lands and the people who live on those lands. When we look at our, our history here in this country, in this province, that so much of our story has been left out. We started to, with a digital dot, using technology to uh, mark significant places of our people. Today, we have a stenciling program where we target the school system. We have free curriculum online, grades one to eight on the Ontario curriculum. It is helping the teachers teach in the classroom about our people. And we have a symbol that has been created, the moccasin design. And it is helping us in a fun, interactive way to tell the story. The four stencils we have in the kit um, are useful for the teachers to talk about Ontario, and they're used to identify the different linguistic groups in Ontario. The Cree in the north, which is the largest group, the Anishinaabe, kind of the rest of Ontario, and we as the Mississaugas are part of the Anishinaabe um, linguistic group. And we have the Huron-Wendats that are um, from Collywood, north of Ontario, um, but they now uh, live in Wendaki, Quebec. And then in the south, we have the Iroquois Haudenosaunee, where the six, uh, six nations live. Um, we, in our kit, we have the Seneca stencil in there. So those four stencils can can help you identify the people and we'd be honored if you was to buy a stencil uh, kit and to put it on your sidewalk or use it with your children to teach them about uh, the First Nations Indigenous people of this province. You know if you think about Google Maps it has significant um, points of interest that you can go check out. Well we would like to be one of those. That was the goal. Unfortunately there our funding run out uh, for that digital dot. But one of the questions that came up when we were presenting the research about um, a site, the Catherine Sutton site up in Collingwood, that um, the question came from the floor. What will I see if I, if I go there? If I don't have a camera, let alone a smart camera, which you have to use the technology to get the information. And I said, answered, nothing. It's remnant farmland and today it's under a golf course. So they said, well, maybe you should consider a marker system, a placking system, so that all the people will know, be able to see what was there. And we said, okay, well, let's talk about that. In the discussions, it was that if you're having a placking system, you need to have a universal symbol. And our first thought was the eagle feather. And we said, no, that's too sacred to us. And they said, well, maybe the dotums, the clan system, the deer, you know, the uh, bear, any one of the, our different clan systems. And I said, no, same thing. They're very sacred to us. And we wouldn't want people walking over them and not knowing what they are. So we, we said, no, can't use that. And I said, well, Carolyn, come up with something that will be universal and will help uh, be the marker for the program. Went back to my office and I wrote on my whiteboard, what will identify us and connect us to the land? I went into work and read that every morning and I, it shouldn't have taken me three days. And it just came to me. I just said, it's our footwear. And, and literally the idea was born at that moment. Our next um, connection was to go to the Batashu Museum and to uh, visit their collection of amazing footwear. They have a huge collection of indigenous and that we were able to, um, with our researcher, fill out um, a bit of story about the First Nations in Ontario and how they would be represented uh, through moccasin design. And as we we did that, and that's how we came up with the four stencils that we use today. I'll say that once we did the 
research. Uh, Philip Cote has been a, a friend of ours. He's a well-known artist in, in the Toronto area. Does Okay, does the murals, and he uh, does a lot of teachings about uh, the First Nations people. And he's uh, connected to um, Moose Deer Point. And he um, gave us the, the research, um, come up with the four designs, and did the drawings. And then it evolved to stenciling. And that's what we have today, an educational kit, we call it, toolkit that you buy for $100 right now, and that you have four stencils, the curriculum is online, and you can take that information and do a teaching moment in the classroom. Just the way it turned out to be a stencil, it has um, linked us to the children, and that was the goal, to start over with this educational program and we're starting over with the children. And maybe that whole, my, my belief is that we are going to start to change the world and that the students of today will have learned something about the indigenous people of this country.